And we're back to GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to add a stroke to an image. You can use the same method that we've used for text, but at first we need to cut our image out. In this case the icon. Let me copy this layer, rename it to icon and right click add alpha channel. This adds transparency to whatever we're going to delete here. I'm going to make the original invisible. Depending on what you've got in your image you need a different method to select it. In this case I just want to use the path tool. If you're new to selection just check out my playlist. I've made videos about the most common tools for that. Here I just go over it with the left click and finally I hold control to close my path. And now I can drag these straight lines and give them a curve and play around with the handles. I don't want to waste too much time here, but obviously the more time you put in, the better the results will look. In this case, I'll just go over it quickly so that I can show the actual effect. So we could here, right click on your path, then select. This selects what we've got inside of the path, then go to select and invert it, then delete. So just press the delete key and you can see what we've deleted. We now want to add a stroke to the icon, so go to select and invert it again, so that we have the icon selected. And then go to edit and stroke selection. In this case I have white as the foreground color, but you can make it any color. The foreground color will be the stroke color. You can adjust the line width here, make sure it's solid color. When you've got more options, definitely make sure that you've got a line, but it should be by default. And then confirm via clicking on stroke, go to select and none. And now our icon has this white stroke. Let me give it a background. So I'll create a new layer, I'll make sure that it's black, which is my background color. And now you can see the stroke properly. And this is a method that you can use on basically any image to give it a stroke in game. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.